to find the critical numbers of this function we first find the derivative okay and one third x derivative of one third x is just one third minus it's like x n so n x one third minus one negative two thirds okay we, let's rewrite which is same as one third minus one over three x raised to two thirds okay and we set the derivative equals zero okay that is one third minus one over three x raised to two thirds equals zero and solve for x so move one third to the other side so subtract one third from both sides or move this term to the other side because this is already negative when we move to the other side it becomes positive so basically one over three x raised to two thirds equals one third okay and on the bottom if we cross multiply we are trying to solve for x okay cross multiply then three three so three three cancel so we get x raised to two thirds equals one it's a cubic cubic root so cube both sides okay cube both sides we get x two thirds cube equals one cube three three cancel so x is square equals one cube is one take a square to both sides so x equals plus minus one so these are the critical numbers but this function look at the domain of this function okay this is not a polynomial because we have x raised to one third but this function is defined for all values of x you can plug in x equals zero or a negative number okay the domain is all real numbers but when we come down for derivative now this derivative is not defined for all values of x okay if we take x equals zero then one zero raised to two thirds is zero times three is zero one over zero is undefined that means this derivative is undefined at x equals zero okay this is different than first two parts a and b okay so x and x equals zero by the way x equals zero is in the domain so that is also a critical number so we need to mention that one note that okay at x equals zero the derivative is undefined that means x equals zero is also a critical number okay thus the critical numbers are plus minus one and zero zero plus minus one 